and you know just link and build pretty much like you just got to be on your bob to build your shit every part has a different rhythm that kind of interlocks locked in you know yo what's good everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make more advanced melodies just how to make your melodies like really fit together and before we get started make sure to go tap in with me on social media at it viral but let's lock in so today's video is actually sponsored by unison audio so they actually sent me their unison beat maker blueprint which i'm going to be using for this video which is a big free pack of a bunch of different sounds you got a bunch of drum sounds in here one shots loops you know drum loops midis and if you guys want to check out this free pack i'll leave the link in the description but the concept that i want to talk about in this video is something i call the puzzle method which pretty much means you know try to make the melodies fit together like a puzzle so let's just start with the initial melody i'm gonna pick one of these one shots for one shots i like to put like this box here and then leave the release you know a little longer let's just try out like a little melody I'm just playing super simple arpeggiated chords f minor uh c sharp major b flat minor and then e flat major so i'm just gonna record that and uh let's just see what we can do with that and then on the last chord i'm just doing a sus4 you know and then resolving it down so now we have these blanks at the end of each bar and i'm probably going to try to fill that with another melody from the very beginning you kind of want to leave a lot of room like you can obviously make one single melody super complicated but i usually like to build with different layers and then get more complex like that and that way you can get a richer sound and a lot of more textures in there that's kind of fire see what i'm talking about like let me just lay that down So you can see this pattern is pretty much focused on filling the gap that's left empty by the previous pattern. And also another thing I'm doing here is like, I'm starting kind of simple. I'm just playing two notes here. And then on the second half, I'm playing three notes. This is a really good way to like make the pattern more interesting because the listener is looking forward to when the second note comes in. It's a super subtle difference, but it makes it way more interesting. <laughs> So right now this melody is pretty full horizontally and what i mean by that is like there's like a note hitting pretty much on every beat but like vertically the melody is kind of empty because there's not much going on in the top end you know there's not really any melody standing out also it doesn't sound full so now we're just going to focus on filling the puzzle pieces up here and you know just link and build it pretty much like you just got to be on your bob the builder shit like i'm just gonna pick another one shot now <laughs> That's kind of fire. I'm, I might do like a twinkle melody like that. And again, you know, I might add that extra note over here to kind of spice it up on the second half. As you can see, what I'm doing here is the melody is in a higher register. Also, I'm playing a faster rhythm in the beginning, which is kind of empty right now because it's just like two notes on the start of each bar. <laughs> Another important thing to consider is like in each pattern, you know, the rhythms that I'm playing stay consistent. And this kind of helps the melodies be glued together because like every part has a different rhythm that kind of interlocks, locked in, you know, they just locked in. We got to juice these up because like right now it's way too dry. I'm just going to pull up portal because it's just like free juice and let's just tap in. Now let's bring in the other sounds and kind of mix them in. And then I'm going to pan the other melody slightly to the left, you know, make it kind of opposite. And uh, let's just start with EQing this because this sounds really annoying right now. And then let's try some flanges on here. I say I want to add a plug to this melody to kind of make it more bouncy. That could be pretty far, I think. Thank you. 
Maybe let's add a tremolator to this main melody to kind of make it more uh, rhythmic. I like that better actually. And then let's actually get a bass out of here and uh, add a bass line. I like this one a lot. Add some vocals. Let's see. Let's go to Icebox and um, I actually like that vocal line. Let's just stretch this in here. All right, I'm just gonna keep that first, that first section, and let's just copy that over. Alright, this melody sounds pretty dumb, so I'm just gonna add some crazy drums on this and bring it all to life. Alright, I wanna make the hi hats like pretty unique but simple. What I want to do now is like make some of these notes like slide notes so the rolls can sound kind of lasery. That's kind of hard. This one's pretty cool, it's just like super soft, kind of. Let's just add it over here. All right, let's pick an 808. I think I like this drones one a lot. I'm gonna try to put halftime on the main melody. Let's actually try a different 808 also. Maybe for a switch up. Let's try this one. I'm gonna try one of these rim shots out. Let's just copy the clap pattern for a switch up. Kind of destroyed the 808, so I'm gonna add saturator on here. I forgot we got the vocals in here. I want to see what that sounds like again. And then I'm 
honestly gonna copy that. Alright, so now I'm just gonna split all the patterns by channel and let's just arrange it real quick. Let's bring in the pluck right here. Take out the kink in the first half. And then second 808 can come in for a switch up i'll leave the plucks out and then let's bring this in right here i guess this is also part of the puzzle because you're trying to fit different pieces together like whatever sounds good uh for this last part i'll just bring in this and then i'll also copy the vocal chops over to do is just make the hi-hats kind of go out right before the clap it's a really good transition let's also do that right here let's turn that wavy actually Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned some new things. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future uploads. But that's it for this one and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.